guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Marilyn thank you so much for clicking on this video um, today's makeup tutorial it will be on this look right here so I want to create something a little bit more simple but with a twist or with a glam um, I was using and playing around with the Kylie Bible palette um, I wasn't giving it much love since I bought it this is the palette right here If you want to know how I created this look, then keep on watching. I hope you like this video. Okay, at this point what I did, it was do my um, my brows off camera. If you would like to um, see a tutorial, for me to do a tutorial, just how I do my um, eyebrows, just uh, comment below in the comment box. Right now, I just I prime and I use the Nivea for men. And this is the shaving cream um, and it gives you like a sticky consistency on your skin and I've been loving this it gives me a really flawless face to color correct I'm gonna use my LA girl pro concealer in green and I do have some blemishes on my face and there is and like an in 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 underneath the skin layer of um, the massive pimple right that I have right there um, so I'm gonna go ahead and color correct those areas so when you use the green you kind of cancel out all the redness on your face so you want to place a small amount in the area and to buff that in I'm gonna use my a my wet and wild stippling brush okay here what you can do or it's either use some powder um, you could use a loose powder, and this powder is from um, LA Girl Pro Powder. Or you could put place your foundation on top. I'm just going to go straight to the foundation. And today's foundation that I'm going to be using is, if I can reach it, there you go. It's my Revlon, Revlon Aging Firm Lifting Makeup Foundation, and this is in Golden Beige. And I'm going to buff this onto my skin and the brush that I'm using, this is from Lavish. This foundation does oxidize just a tiny bit, that's why I use it in this color. And then when I bronze my face and I do everything else, conceal and contour, it will blend and it will be a seamless color. My next step, after I go ahead and blended um, all my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and um, contour. And I'm going to use some cream contour, so I'm going to get a brush. This brush is from More Than Wild. I'm going to use these two colors from here, right here. This is a Beauty Trends Radiant Creamy Concealer. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me, and this is in shade medium and number 25, so I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to 
and buff this in. I'm going to use the same Wet n Wild. Actually, let's use the other one. I'm going to use the Lavish brush. And then my beauty sponge. My next step will be setting my face, and I'm going to use the Ellie Girl Pro uh, powder. And I'm going to be using my beauty sponge to apply the setting powder. Guys, I have run over my shirt. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. And for that, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me. And this will be in 310. I already hit pan. I'm ready to get another one. So I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. without taking too much of the yellow powder. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that to bake just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face. And for that, I'm gonna use the, um, it is from Purr, and this is in Mineral uh, Glow. This is the shade right here, and this is how it looks like. I'm going to use a fan brush. So from the palette, I'm going to start with this color right here, and I'm going to place that on my crease area. So for that, I love the Wet n Wild brushes, and this will be a crease brush because it gives me the opportunity to blend um, my shadows without having to have or without, without putting too much effort. So I'm going to go ahead and swirl, take excess. It does have some kickback, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you in just a tiny little bit. All right. So I zoomed you in just a tiny little bit um, so you can see the application of the shadows. I just picked up um, this color right here. And I took the excess. Since I have hooded eyes, I have to kind of do this motion on the top. And I'm going to place that on my crease bone or in the crease area. When you place your transition colors, what are you doing? It's building a foundation for the rest of the shadows. And then they will blend seamlessly. So I do circular motions and windshield wiper motions. I'm still building, building the intensity of the colors. All right, so that's shade, um, but I'm going to take I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to place it on the same area just a tiny bit below so it'll be like in the same socket but without going up too high. So for that I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to start using um, a little bit more taper brush. It's a bit bigger brush. But what I like to do with type of brush is just putting the placing the color on the tip 
the rest is clean, so it will give me the look or the shade that I that I want. So it will stay in the area that I want. Like, see how clean it's in the, on on the top. So that's exactly what it where I want it. Okay, so next color um, that I'm going to use, the palette does have some kickback. Next color I'm going to use is this one here, and I'm just going to um, deepen my corner, my outer crease area. So I'm going to use this brush right here. I'm going to pick up some color. I'm going to use a different brush. There you go. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and kind of sweep everything out because I need to know if I need to fix anything, but I can't really see. So this is my eye so far. Oops, sorry guys. Okay, so my next step, it will be kind of go from transition colors I do want to use some other colors so I'm going to start from here this area and then another color here so the color that I chose is to go with the light uh, yeah I'm gonna go with this shade right here and I'm gonna pick up some product and I'm just gonna do padding motions And then the next shade that I'll be using, it's this shade that it's the lightest, um, or it's got the kind of golden. It's actually rose gold. So it will be this one right here. So I'm going to take some product on my brush, and I'm going to place that on my inner corner. Okay, so I lost some of the transition color or the um, auto V area. So I'm going to pick up this brush right here. And now I'm going to make sure these two, let me use the other brush that I was using before. So these two shades, I'm going with circular motions. Make sure that I have a seamless blend. Then if you want to have more intensity, I'm going with this darker shade right here. And that is just saying in my outer V. Now what I'm doing is bringing the product below underneath my eye. Okay, the transition color that I was using before, which is this one. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And I'm going to go ahead and place that underneath the two colors. So that way I will have a nice transition between the two colors. Then I'm going to get this brush. And I'm going to use this color right here. And that will be for my inner corner. And since I want this to be a cabal color, I'm going to wet the brush. And this has does have a mirror. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, in the same color, I'm going to use it for my brow, uh, brow bow area, brow brow bone area, oh dear lord, my Spanglish, you guys, 
I do apologize, but I do speak Spanglish. Okay. And my next step, I need to blend this. This is like really intense, so I want to make sure I don't have no harsh lines on my brow bone area. Brow bone. All right, so to create my winged eye, I'm going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. liquid liner. I don't know about you guys, comment below what, how you create your cat eye. I took about six months to really, and I still struggle to do my cat eye. So, um, yeah, comment below if you still struggle doing your winged eye. Like everybody, I think I do have good days that I my um, cat eye comes looking nice, and I got other days that it's just oh dear lord, what the heck I did. I have now and coat my lashes, and I'm gonna use my Maybelline Colossal Big Colossal Big Shots. This has become one of my favorite um, mascaras. Okay, so I'm going to do is place my eyelashes on camera, um, not on camera, off camera. You guys, I take forever doing my lashes. Um, somehow, I have issues. So, um, I'm gonna, this is the pack that I'm going to be using. These are the Kiss um, Looks So Natural, and this is in Poise. So, these are the ones right here, and this is the name. So, I'll place my lashes off camera, so I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyelashes are put on. They are, I love them because they look very natural. It's like exactly for the type of look that I would like to create. So my next step, it will be applying this on my waterline. This is uh, from Rimmel London and this is in shade Nude. I'm going to use a brush. I don't want to be tugging on my skin. I'm going to go ahead and use this brush right here. I'm going to use this color from here. Okay. And now I do want, I do have a rose gold um, highlighter. It's from the brand Vintage, but also the Carly Bible gives you also these. So um, I am more intended to use this one, but I want to show you the other one that I do have. And it's this color. I don't know if you can see it, there you go. So I'm gonna place a little bit of this. This is not so intense like the ones from Carly Bible. So I'm gonna swirl it, tap the X's, and I'm gonna place that on my highest point. So it's a nice highlighter, but it's not as intense as the ones that I like. But it's good to use as a base. And then I'm gonna go with the rose gold color from this palette. Look how pendricted this is. Type the X's. And now we're cooking. Look at that. Look at that glow. Woo! Baby, give it to me. If you guys hear a little dog howling, howling is that how you say it? Baby, it's not happy. Howling, that's the word that I was looking for. Just gonna blend because I want a little bit ham on my highlighter. 
So my last step, it will be, um, at least powder-wise, it will be to go ahead and set my face. So I do want to do that before I finish up with my eyes, with my face. No, <laughs> with my lips. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, so to finalize this look, let me fix my shirt. So now I'm debating in between using this color. It's like a nudie lip. Um, and this is from the... Um, makeup palette from Melissa Michelle or the NYX liquid sued so I think I'm inclining more this one this look I guess it's gonna be a little bit more monochromatic so let me see this lippy hold on oh yeah Okay, so this is the makeup look that I just created. I hope you like it. I am in love. I did want to do, it did came out a little bit intense, but this is more um, smooth. Um, I think this will be perfect for, um, oh dear God, I can't thank you guys. So I believe this will be good for now for the fall nice um deeper tones of mauve and um i use some rose gold in my inner corner and i'm really liking i'm mean, feeling this look right here so i hope you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up you will help me so much also don't forget to subscribe um i want to hit i'm close to hit that 50 mark and i've been a youtuber i believe like for four close to four months not four months four weeks and i'm just excited where you guys have been you know progressing with me so I just in asking for you to go ahead and subscribe on this video also those of you who already subscribed thank you thank you so much so I'll see you guys in my next one beso I love you guys